Hello friends, you are on the Gradient Company channel. Today we will talk about 5 common mistakes in electrode welding that hinder you from achieving high quality welds. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let's get started. And of course, friends, on our website, gradientua.com, you will find an assortment of torches and torch accessories, welded protection products and many other items. The link is in the description. The first mistake, you weld at a low current or you do not know how to adjust it. If the arc goes out, the weld pull is interrupted quite often and the weld is too narrow and the weld height is too high. The problem is most likely with the welding current setting. One of the simplest solutions used by almost all professional welders. Select several plates of the same metal and thickness as the main structure. We test different currents on them. At the end, we inspect the welds and choose the best current settings for the main structure. Mistake number two, not preparing the weld surface. There are always various contaminants on the workpiece, such as rust, paint and others. These contaminants affect the quality of the weld. It is necessary to clean the areas of the weld surface within a width of 20 to 25 mm from the metal junction using a wire brush. If there is heavy contamination on the workpiece, use vinegar or a solvent. A cleaned weld will provide a more stable arc and a higher quality weld pool. Mistake number three, you ignite the electrode incorrectly and spoil the weld start. In such cases, the beginning of the weld needs to be corrected, which immediately affects its quality. How to solve this problem so that a uniform weld is achieved right from the start? First method, ignite the arc on the weld line about two to three centimeters away from its starting point. Once a stable arc is obtained, immediately move it to the beginning of the weld. Then weld at the usual speed and with the normal movement of the electrode. Second method. Ignite the arc on a plate positioned near the start of the weld and immediately transfer it to the welding workpiece. This method will help avoid a poor start characterized by inadequate fusion and weld porosity. This method works well for long and profiled welds. Mistake number four. Failure to maintain the correct arc length and uniform arc during the entire welding process. The arc length is the gap between the electrode and the workpiece in which the arc discharge occurs. The arc length depends on the electrode diameter and can be of three types. Short arc from 0.5 to 1 electrode diameter. The short arc is used most often. Its advantages are good protection of the weld pool and good penetration of the part. Medium arc length from 1 to 1.2 electrode diameters. It is used for surfacing and sometimes for welding in the lower position. The medium arc length increases the weld width and reduces the penetration of the workpiece. Long arc length more than one and a half times the electrode diameter. When welding with such a thickness, metal spatter increases. Penetration of the part and weld formation deteriorate. It is not recommended to weld with a long arc. It is recommended to guide the electrode evenly during welding and control the arc length. The last fifth mistake – failure to properly fix the workpiece before welding. Fixing various parts will be different. Tacks for shaped tubes are one type, while tacks for ordinary tubes are completely different. Tacks should firmly fix the part and prevent deformation during welding. In some cases, tacks need to be cut off as they can interfere with the quality of the weld. If you need to make an angled or tack weld, it is important to properly fix the part with tacks. You can do this as follows. We have identified five main mistakes during welding, the elimination of which, multiplied by practice, will allow you to make smart, high-quality and beautiful welds. Dear friends, if you are familiar with other types of mistakes, know how to eliminate them and make the quality of the welds better, please write about it in the comments. Let's exchange tips and improve the quality of our work and the work of others. Thank you for watching this video. We hope it was helpful for you. Subscribe to our channel and follow us on other social media platforms. We would be delighted to engage with you and hear your thoughts in the comments. See you soon.